Hello, and in this video, I'm going to go through a very basic understanding of what is meant by anticipatory breach. Well, essentially, it's a type of breach whereby one party notifies the other party that there is an intention I'm going to basically be breaching a contract. For example, um, in Hochester and De La Tour, I have a video on this, essentially it's an employment contract and before the guy who signed the contract is about to um, start working there, um, they, the employers, they terminate the contract. And so this is anticipatory because there's an intention to already break the contract when it hasn't even, you know, it's basically communicating expressly that we're going to breach the contract. So now the remedy of anticipatory breach is reliant on which term has been breached. So if it's a condition which has been um, breached, then it's likely there will be a repudiation of the contract. Um, it will be uh, no longer enforceable. Uh, whether, but if it's a vo warranty or an innominate term which has been breached, then it's likely to only yield damages. Now, the key feature of anticipatory breaches is that they are... Um, communicated expressly uh, or impliedly and basically they're communicated it's not just that you fail to meet obligations like a normal breach so by communicating to the innocent party um, this is good because it leaves um, the, uh, it, uh, the innocent party the option to seek performance from elsewhere and reduce the liability for the party in breach so therefore it's beneficial for both the parties so this is a preferable type of breach if there is going to be a breach Express communication is easy to deal with because it's clear that there was an anticipatory breach. It's much more difficult with implied um, communication and so the remedies and how implied communication work tend to be more fact sensitive. You look at the actions, you look at the um, intention, there's no like, oh, it has to be written in writing. Like, for example, if we compare contract to property, you know, with the different statutes, everything needs to be in writing with contract. It's going to be more fact sensitive in this case. Thank you for watching. Please visit my blog.